Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Friday, June the 6th. Uh, I'm a little late getting this done today. I've had some issues with my computer today, and uh, there wasn't, uh, obviously, no midday chart. If you were looking for that, there wasn't one. Um, I apologize, and I meant to actually go in and post something, but I got so busy um, with my computer, and then I tried to trade some, and so... Um, I hope that I'm going to be able to, I've already done the video once today, actually twice, and um, neither one of them took, so, and there no volume on either one of them. One of them didn't record properly, and then the other one had no volume, so I believe that I have this thing corrected. I hope that I have it corrected, and uh, if not, it may be Monday before we have anything new um, or another chart lesson, but I'm going to go ahead and work through this one fairly quickly and try to get it uploaded. And, uh, we just continue to go high and today was pretty standard. We had our, a nice little trend up. Um, and then late morning, we just kind of went into that, you know, not much else happening, little trading range here. And you can see how flat it is mostly still above until here, but you know, you just don't want to be involved in this. There's a lot, there's a little setup here. And then from there on, it was pretty obvious what was going on. So, um, but let's talk about the trades real quick and then we'll wrap this up. The first trade I saw, you got a nice, it looked kind of rangy here. You got this low, uh, from the overnight, you tested it once you pull back, you test it again. It fails as a second entry long, a nice two legged correction. Um, I did have a line down here and I restarted my chart, uh, took it away, and you can see it's a bounce right off those lows, um, second entry long, quick, nice move really, um, and then you pull back, this one, I actually meant for this one to be green, I forgot to change it, let me go in, oops, wrong way, let me change that one, uh, it does bounce off the trend line, but you don't really know that, you know, you it's not real obvious that's the trend line at this point. So, um, and you've got this little trend line working now. It's the first break. So I think it was better to wait. Um, but you might have wanted to go long here. It's a breakout pullback long. Look at that big bear. And the reason I think it was okay to be aggressive with it because it broke lower first and then turned and went out the high side. So she might have just had a stop there and got a quick, easy scalp out of it. But, then it comes back, and you get a failed second entry short there, uh, but I didn't like going all right at that high yet because it's not real obvious this, is think, this thing is going higher yet. It, it could still be a trading range. So even though that's a failed second entry uh, short and turned up, I didn't mark it. If you went long there, it would have worked as long as you used your, you know, kept your stop below that. But I think it was better to wait and see if it tried to go lower again. So now, look, you got this low here, first entry, failed second entry short. Uh, off the new high, first entry pullback, failed second entry short. And you will see that same pattern all day today. So when this one bounces right off the line, uh, it's a, it is a, definitely a trap count from here. So go long right there, easy move. And then you kind of get hung up here and you're working lower again. You get your break. You don't quite get back to the EMA there. There was a second entry long there, but you can't take that. Uh, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I had to reload my chart. My first chart, it was more straight up and down even than that with dojis and stuff. So I just don't think you want to take that trade. Uh, we're bouncing off that midline, and there's a good chance we're, we could come back again. Uh, and that's why I don't really like that trade, even though we might have closed outside there. We're not back to the EMA. Uh, if you went long there, it was okay, but I think you were better to see if it waits, see if it pulled back, and you get another bounce right there. And um, so I liked that one a little better. Um, and that one turned, because then, then you got them try, you know, you've got the second entry, and you've got the retest attempt. Um, and when it goes higher here, then it's pretty obvious, hey, we got a, you know, we got another rally going on here. And there's a second entry long right here. I don't like it. Uh, when it broke higher here, you might have considered going long here when it turned. Uh, when it turned down, maybe you just enter with a limit order back into this bar. So if you did it that way, I would say it's probably aggressive still, but that might have been okay. But 
notice the same pattern you got the new low first entry short second entry short and uh, there's a second entry long there but I don't like that one as much it's too close to that high and these highs so I think but when it turns down again and you get that failed second entry short it traps everybody and turns up go long right there because that's the same little repeat pattern here and here and the third time and off it goes um, easy scalp and then again this little setup is very similar to this one this is almost a repeat pattern here too and if you notice that maybe you take that as an aggressive entry but I still think it's a it's too aggressive um, but those repeat patterns don't hardly fail uh, but notice what happens you get a first entry pull back and a failed second entry short right off those matching lows it turns up closes on its high just go long right there and another quick easy move and that was it for the day I mean once we passed that kind of 10 30 11 o'clock area really from uh, from this high there was just no volume all day and actually there's some volume here at the close I guess there's some people that were hanging on and uh, I was actually looking for a measured move and it looks like we're gonna get it uh, I called that your first leg up to the new high and I was looking for a second one and <laughs> And it didn't look like we were going to get it today. I thought we'd end the range, but you can see we we're within a tick or so, and we may get that in the next 10 minutes before the market closes. So just have to see what happens. But I'm guessing we probably we get our two legs up to a new high. But really, to be honest, you got two smaller legs up, and then just corrected for way more than an hour. So we, you know, this could be a new trend start. Of course, it's 3:08, so you don't want to be trading now, but. Uh, but, you know, this could be a whole new trend working up here. So, uh, but that's what I saw today. Uh, even if you just went with the basic trades, there were one, two, three, four, five really good ones. And a couple of these were, even though they're green, they're iffy greens. They're, they're right at green between being green and blue. Because it's no doubt this thing's straight up and we just keep going higher. And, uh, you know, I talked with a trader today by email. That I had a chance to read a couple of emails earlier today before I started having these issues. But, uh, you know, and he was asking about the logic of this market. Why is it, you know, but these markets are not logical. Markets are not logical. And if you try to trade, uh, actually, this should have been right here. Uh, that was your first leg I was looking at. So I was looking at a second leg there. But back to the logic issue, these markets are not logical. And if you're an analytical or logical, you know, person that likes, um, that thinks analytically and likes to have clear cut logic, uh, you're going to, it's harder for those people to make good traders because um, nothing is logical about what we do. Uh, if, you know, if you, uh, I, the words I want to use are not coming to me at the moment, but the markets are completely illogical really and uh, and so if you think analytically and you like to have a set of nice rules and everything to follow the you know proper order and things those are those type of people really struggle to make tr good traders because it just doesn't make sense to them uh, and and I get that but the markets are just not logical uh, they can go higher they can be overbought for long periods of time but look at this we're going into Friday at the close and we're still making all-time new highs I mean who's buying this market at three o'clock on a Friday um, they must be expecting it to go higher next week <laughs> that's all I that's all I can tell you and they couldn't take it up here what do they do they come down here and they trap people and then look they use that trap to drive it to another new high and it's just typical over and over. It does not pay to sell this market. So uh, until you know, until you get it, don't don't even try to sell these. Even though a lot of these would have worked, don't try to sell that. Just wait because you're going to get these moves like this before it's over. And it's just it doesn't make sense. Uh, but what happens? You know, don't watch CNBC, don't watch financial news, don't just don't watch those channels because those people do not, most of them do not know what they're talking about. And they'll, they've been talking about corrections for a year now. And if you've been selling this thing or taking little nibbles to the short side, you'd be getting your backside burn off. So don't do it. 
just follow the price action go wherever it goes every day and um, you know you don't have to carry anything home you don't have to walk, worry about something happening crazy over the weekend you don't have to worry about a gap open or a gap down that and you don't have to worry about any of that just go with where the price action goes every day and simple as that and don't listen to what anybody says it doesn't matter don't listen to the news don't listen to the news items just know when the news items you know know what's coming out for the day and be aware of it but don't listen to whether it's good or bad because you won't it won't make any hill of beans where the market's going to go where the market's going and really bullish news will send it straight to the floor and really bearish news will send it skyrocketing higher so there's no way to trade that logically or safely so just be aware of it so that you don't get caught on the wrong side and I usually exit if it and usually I only do this for high you know the high priority uh, news items if it's medium there's a few of those that you might be careful of but for the most part if it, unless it's one of those red high priority ones you don't have to worry about the news too much so but the FOMC uh, days and things like that get out of the market you know 15 minutes or so before at a minimum so just don't be caught up in that stuff because you'll get burned you'll be right and still get stopped out so unless you're trading with huge stops and then you're taking too big a risk so um, but that's about it for the day uh, I'm gonna wrap this week up I hope you had a good trading week we'll be back to do it again next week and uh, I hope I have all my computer problems straightened out and we don't have to fool with this any any next week but uh, I'm gonna wrap it up this is Mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time